Hello and welcome to the Future of Tech webcast brought to you this time in collaboration with BMC. I'm joined by Paul Spicer. Hey Paul, welcome to the show. Thank you, glad to be here. So let's do some introductions first. What do you do for BMC? So I'm a, pro a product manager. I work as part of the ops organization, basically ops products for you know, managing the mainframe. Fantastic. So lots of focus on AI in the industry right now. ChatGPT seems to be on every tech headline that I see. What does AI from an ops perspective mean for BMC, Paul? It means a lot. I mean, it, it, as you say, it's big in the industry. Everyone's talking about it. And, you know, we are investing a lot of money and, and building products in, in that space. I mean, it's the, you know, we need to do it. Our customers are demanding it. Um, you know, AI is just, you know, it's just huge in terms of helping customers solve their problems, especially in the, you know, the ops space. You know, it's all about making sure systems are running all the time, they're running properly, and they're always available. And you know, if there is a problem, they can detect them quickly, diagnose them quickly. It's all about you know, making sure things are running properly, and you, know, you have to do that. Especially in, in the mainframe space, I can imagine that more broadly in sort of across IT, but specifically in the mainframe space, these are mission critical systems for their clients, often running the core crown jewels of their application estate, these have got to be available. Is that what's driving it, you think? Absolutely. Absolutely. And 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 you know, transactions are complicated these days. I mean they're often originating perhaps from a phone or from an ATM. You know, there's a lot of moving parts. The mainframe is, you know, the, the critical part, you know, serving up the data, the, running the transactions. You know, it has to always be available all the time. I mean it just has to be there and the performance has to be there. Probably. So is that driving some of the behavior you're seeing in clients? Well, well I mean, there's always, there's always been a, an urgency and a need for the mainframe to perform properly. I mean, that's always been the case. It will always be the case. I think you know, one of the things that's changing is, you know, the workforce is changing. There's less experienced people. You know, the mainframe's been run for a long time by the experts that know every, you know every in and out, where to look, how to solve problems. That's changing. You know, some of those people are retiring. Newer people are coming in. You know, so there's less experienced people. At the same time, you know, transaction workloads are increasing, the complexity is increasing, you know, especially with things like DevOps, application changes are being rolled out faster. I mean, there's so much more going on in the mainframe environment. You need, you need AI capability to keep up with managing it effectively. So the skills piece, interesting that you mentioned that. I think that's a key dynamic, especially in the mainframe. I know BMC puts an annual survey out and tracks that type of dynamic. Tell me a little bit about, more about that. Yeah, I mean, first of all, you're right. I mean, we've been running the survey for many years now, and it's a huge, you know, wealth of information that we're able able to get. And certainly, the whole experience thing, you know, for a long time, we've been talking about older workforce started to move off the mainframe, but it's it's real. Uh, you know, the survey this recently showed significant uh, decrease in the people with 20 plus years experience, and a significant increase in those with you know one to five. So, you know, obviously, less experience in general in the environment. So. You know, you can't just bring someone in, expect them to know the ins and outs of you know, someone that's been there forever. So the products have to kind of fill in that gap. And that's where AI comes into play. I mean, you know, you know built, well, AI and a combination of domain expertise built into the products, just so that these newer people can do their job. I mean, they're doing it in modern interfaces they, they like and, and, and you know, are intuitive, easy to use. And the capability with AI is just making their job easier, making the job possible, in fact. So maybe let's go one step further. How is that actually manifesting itself in the BMC portfolio? In a few ways. So, you know, one of the main product, area, you know, product areas we've got is Amy Ops Insight, which is leverages AI machine learning. And that's all around you know, helping detect problems quickly. Um, you know, traditionally in the past, people you know, write uh, alarms and set thresholds, you know, the, the experience needs to do that, you know, perhaps isn't as there as much as it used to be. But, you know, with AI and machine learning, we can detect problems without people having to do that. And then, you know, take it to the next step and identify, you know, the, the sort of cause and effect relationships behind the problem and even take it down to another level and, you know, do a detailed analysis. And this is the sort of analysis that someone who is an expert would know, I have to go here and do this, 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 you know, having that all built into the product to actually come up and, and tell someone in detail, well, this is what the problem is. So they will have to do is go and take care of it. So yeah, I mean, that's, that's probably one of the more obvious examples where, where we're using it. And where do you see that going forward? I mean, I think we're at an inflection point with the adoption of AI in the industry right now. Maybe paint that picture two, year, two three years out. How's BMC thinking about that? 
Well, from an adoption standpoint, it's, it's definitely growing. And mm. again, going back to the survey, we've seen that in the survey. You know, year on year, we're seeing more more respondents are saying, yes, we're using AI ops in the mainframe space. So that that's absolutely happening. We obviously have to react to that. And you know, how you know, how do we leverage leverage it to get the best effect? I mean, obviously that that's one product example I gave you. I mean, there's other products where you know we could put that into play. Um, you know, and, and just continue to take advantage of that incredible capability. I mean, it's it's exciting. I mean, there's just so much going on. So you mentioned one of the products there is, are you seeing AI pervasively deployed across all of your product set now? Is that where you see it's going to go ultimately? Well, I mean, we, we have s several products where we're using that kind of capability. You know, like in capacity management, we're using, you know, analytics and, and machine learning to predict capacity needs in the future. So that's another example. Um, but, you know, in, we, we know we, we use it where where it makes sense and, and where there's a use case that it, that can support it basically. So if you were to summarise up, looking across the portfolio and where you're seeing, I think you've got a unique perspective on the marketplace. You're probably chatting to more clients than certainly most in the mainframe ecosystem. If you were to summarise that up and sort of give a key takeaway for people, what would you be saying, you know, maybe you've got an opportunity to engage with somebody and position BMC for the first time in this space, what would you be saying to them, Paul? I think there's some concern that, you know, it's a lot of work installing all these things and is it really going to give me the ROI? But, you know, we're seeing from, again, the BMC survey that you know, something like 70% of the respondents are saying, well, it speeds up time to problem detection. Well, that's a big deal. And it's a data point that we can, you know, can point to and help customers. And that's tangible yeah. for customers. Mm -hmm. yeah. That problem resolution, we're talking about these most mission critical of Ab systems. Absolutely, absolutely. And that's what, it, that's what it's all about. I mean, downtime is, is you know, time the application isn't available. And, and, and this isn't... Netflix, this isn't sort of, these are the mission critical systems, so seconds matter yeah. here. This is you trying to get money out the ATM and you can't because the, the system's down. I mean, no one wants that, right? No, <laughs> no, those are the most critical of systems. Mm -hmm. So, Paul, this has been fantastic. Really good to get an insight into where um, BMC is going in the AI ops space. I think a really robust portfolio and I think it's been fascinating. You've been watching us here on the Future and Tech webcast, brought to you in collaboration with BMC. Please click and subscribe, check back for new content, and we'll see you on the other side. <laughs>